Are you ready to witness a level that's so intense that you might actually let out a little bit of a fart? Even if someone else is in the room. Even if you're trying to control it. It's gonna come out anyways. Well, you've come to the right place, because we're gonna be playing a level called In Silico by Rafer, which is like a long level. It's an extra, it's an extra large demon. It's a McDonald's super-sized demon. And it is awesome. It's super intense. It's got some crazy four-time sections, but it, it's all very fair. The gameplay is very fluid, and it looks incredible. It feels intense while not feeling cheap. Very fast, very good gameplay. It's awesome. It's not that hard of a level, it's an easy demon, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna dedicate this whole video to this demon here, and we're gonna try a new kind of layout. So what I'm gonna do is normally what I would do is I'd put the practice portion at the beginning, I'd explain how to do the level and talk about what I think about the level. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play the level, I'm gonna do like my normal commentary, and then at the end of the video, once I've completed the level, we're gonna go into practice mode, and I'm gonna talk about the level, I'll give some tips, and I'll give some opinions on what I think about the design and stuff. So we're gonna switch that up, because a lot of people just wanna watch me do normal mode. Like, they want to watch normal mode, the successful attempt, and that's it. So we're going to start the video with that, move on to practice at the end. It's a new layout. If you guys like it, I'll do this layout for, like, future demon levels. I think it's going to be good. Anyways, let's start. It says an easy demon. I agree. It's pretty long, so you need you do need some consistency. Um, but, I mean, the thing is, it's, like, it, it's pretty fair. Like, there there's no gameplay that's going to, like, immediately kill you. There's a little bit of know-how on just, like, a couple of the parts. But usually there's uh, arrows telling you where to jump. And so it's pretty easy to sight read. We got some Mega Man music as well, which is uh, pretty exciting. You guys know... You guys know I'm into the Mega Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Isn't it embarrassing when there's super intense music playing? It's like... Doo -doo 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 and then you just die? Like, it's like the intensity stopped because you failed. And that's, that's embarrassing. All right, I can't. It's a little embarrassing. So it's like a Mega Man 2 kind of medley. It has a bunch of like the Mega Man 2 songs. All right, which is really cool. Wait, was that? God, I'm like such a huge Mega Man 2 fan. I think it's just because this is like first thing in the morning. I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, here we go. This is the first level of, uh, of the island because you got to escape the island. Oh, I can't believe I jumped up top there. You can fall. Wow, there's multiple ways to go. I didn't even realize that. Usually I fall down at that robot part. Wow, that's neat. Multiple paths. I love it. Dun, 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 dun. Man, Mega Man 2 is such a good game. I kind of want to. I'm just going to go play it after this video, you know? I'm going to record this video and then just go play Mega Man 2. Just for the lols. Why not, right? Da, 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 da. The intensity! It's so intense, but it's such good gameplay because it's very fair. Okay, let's just drop. Do a few jumps. You gotta jump a little bit there. See? Multiple paths. That is... That's some bananas stuff. Okay, we're a ship. For a second, I thought it was gonna be a UFO. There we go. We just drop down and all around go down. That was a little bit of a tricky part. I die there sometimes. <laughs> very long level. 35% only. And it felt like we played for ages. Like, that was, like, that was probably like a minute gameplay. I take out all the coolness. Like, the song's so cool, and then I start singing, and it's like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Mega Man 2, for ruining your music. Oh, what? Man, look at all these colors. Doesn't it look beautiful? Like, we're on an island, a volcano's erupting, we gotta escape. And, like, all the colors just add to the intensity. Like, all the lights that are flickering and stuff. Like, it makes it really look like the island that we're on is definitely just like about to explode into smithereens and all these like alarms are going on and off like ah everything's like freaking out it's beautiful like the uh the attention to detail on all the lights that light up like as you go by them it's really something else you know for such a long level it looks like there was a lot of attention to detail put into like all the parts which is impressive i love it it's really cool There we go. Okay, we slow down a little bit here. Yay. And, and oh. Yeah, you just hold down the button and then hit that again. There we go. No big deal, huh? Now I'm just gonna go into like super intense focus mode though. I definitely don't wanna lose here. 
Well, then again, we're still only like 40-something percent of the way through. Okay. Still not that far. <laughs> oh, dang, son. It's going... Oh, I love the slow motion. It's so cool. And then it takes you down in the middle of the dash room. That's just... It's so cool. This level's... Everything about this level's cool. Now we go to the next level, I guess, which is something reactor. I don't know. I didn't quite... Didn't quite read that. Damn. The music slows down, too. That's awesome. This is my first time in normal mode, so... Didn't know how the music would sync with it. It's really dope, though. Holy crap. Oh my god, okay, so jump. Now hold this, you gotta jump right away here and hold down the button. You can't wait too late there, because it lines up perfectly, right? Okay. Boom! And we escaped one part of the island. We still gotta escape another part, though. Oh no! You don't jump there, you idiot dummy Eric! Stupid poopy face! God damn! All the way back to the beginning, let's go. This level makes you feel so much cooler than you actually are. Like, it does. It's just like, it's not that hard. But damn, it makes you feel cool. Okay, just wait. Don't jump. <laughs> just wait. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. And then you slide up into that platform. Maybe there's an optional path here, though, as well. I don't know. Either way, that way works for me. Whew. Okay, let's not muck this up. Spider part. Spider could be deadly. Ooh, I almost didn't jump there. Damn. I'm focusing. I went down there a little late. God, I forgot what was coming up though, so I just like wasn't ready for it. I can't believe I died to the exact same spot, really. I just barely hit that too. Oh, that- wow! Damn, man, that sucks. That's a long ways to go back. No! I missed the- <laughs> I didn't hit the button! I didn't realize I was at the end already! Oh god damn it! You got me! It's all over! Oh! <laughs> Shit, I was like, okay. I was thinking, I'm pretty close to the end. I better, better start worrying about that button. Like, as I died, I thought that thought. But it was too late! I was already dead. God damn! Are you ready for some taters?
Okay, I smashed it. <laughs> I hit it that time. That and that's so cool because like as you hit the button, the switch, that's like you break that tower or whatever. It like falls apart and you escape. It's it's really cool. Like when you hit that, like the timing of like the destruction is timed so well, so it feels awesome, man. I have no idea where the coins are. I think I know where one of the coins are. It's like the alternate path, one, the p place I kept on dying to when you fly downwards near the end, you can fly up. I don't know where the other ones are, but damn. Yeah, that's awesome, man. In Silico by Rafer is super intense, but really good gameplay. And uh, it's an easy demon. If you can't do demon levels, don't let that uh, scare you because there's only like a couple parts that are really demon difficulty. It's just an easy demon, mostly because it's so long. Um, so yeah, that's, it's incredible. You should check it out. If you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. It already has 232,000 downloads. Understandably so. It's honestly one of the most fun I've had with a level recently, so that, that's awesome. Took me 81 attempts to do, but each attempt is pretty long because the level's pretty long. Yeah, this is an incredible level. So much fun. Rafer, you knocked it out of the park. I don't play this game as much as I used to, but man, coming back to levels like this <laughs> and playing it is like, man, I should play this game more. This is incredible. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, let's go into practice mode. I'm gonna tag this on to the end of the video now, where we go and I give you some tip 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 -roos. So one thing you'll notice about this level is that most of it is very sight readable. You can see what's coming up. There's only a couple parts that aren't, and there's only really a couple skill parts that I can actually help you out on. Like, you'll notice that there's arrows everywhere where you have to jump. Most of the places you have to jump. If it's really obvious that you have to jump, usually there's not an arrow. So I'm only really, I'm not gonna go through the whole level because it's so long, I'm just gonna tell you guys like, parts that are trouble parts. So this part here with those dash orbs, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna wait a little bit to press it. If you press the pink one too early, you can miss, right? So you gotta wait till you're right in the middle of the pink one. That's the first part that you gotta kinda be on your toes a little bit. So now it goes four times speed, but there's so much room that it doesn't really matter. It's very easy to sight read that. Lots of room at the wave. Now, there's multiple paths at that robot part. I like to fall down. I found that was the easiest, but I haven't really taken the upper path before. But for me, falling down is easy. You just jump twice, and then every ledge after that, you just jump a little bit. You just do like a bunch of little tiny jumps. Now you just straighten yourself out as the ship. Remember that you fall down, but still like a ton of room. And I guess that part comes at you a little bit quick. You gotta press the button in succession and there's no arrow. Like one, two, you press that quick. I think if you just get launched there, you die, yeah. So one, two, you gotta be ready for that. And uh, right here, you just kinda like straighten yourself out. There's quite a lot of room as the ship. And now right here, make sure to hold down the button on that first blue jump ring. So you hold down and then jump and then you press the other one. It's like pretty easy, but you just gotta remember it's coming up. Now this mini wave part is easy, but this part when you're going in between those, like, it can kill you if you fall down. I recommend, like, I guess you could hit those. Eh, I always just try to go in between just in case, but I mean, still, hitting them is, like, pretty easy as well. I didn't hit them, though. <laughs> I just went in between them. I was scared. When I was practicing, I didn't even, like, test out if they'd kill you. I was just dodging them anyways. So the level's pretty chill. When you go through that portal, just make sure to hit the button a little bit. Like, if you, you can fall down and die right away if you don't straighten yourself out right away. And, uh, and yeah, I think this part is pretty chill. The middle part, there's not, oh hey, this is the duel, okay. So the middle part's chill, but the duel, I'll explain just a little bit. It, it's pretty easy, you just do those jumps. As soon as you land, you can jump. You hold down the jump ring, or the dash orbs, to the max, and then you just jump and hold down the button. So then and jump right away, hold down the button, and then hit that last one. It's pretty easy once you get the rhythm, but you can die there, like if you wait, like if I, wait and then jump you jump too far so you just as soon as you land just jump and hold down the button and then hit the other uh jump ring that's pretty much it for that part and also you got to be wary when you bust out for the first time fall down there and don't try to make that jump i maybe you can make the jump at the top but it's much harder maybe it leads to like a coin or something i, I don't know now the whole last part of the level the hard parts aren't really like the ship parts the hard parts are mostly the timings with like the cubes and stuff, but there, I mean, that's not really even that hard. It's just knowing when to jump and when not to jump. So just look, if there's an arrow, jump. If there's not an arrow, like right there, there wasn't an arrow, you didn't have to jump, right? So if there's not an arrow, don't jump. If there is an arrow, jump. That's it. That's like all you gotta know, but you gotta be able to read that pretty quick. One round of practice, 
a couple rounds of practice probably do you good, you know, for the end. Now right here, as soon as you switch, you can die if you fall down. As soon as you hit that four times, press the button once. Just jump in the air as the UFO. And then you turn into a reverse UFO there. Um, so you're gonna have to practice that part a little bit as well. Now here, same thing, whenever there's arrows, you just go as the uh, ball. Now this part right here as well, there's no arrow. But it's pretty obvious you gotta jump up, so you just jump up. Now here, like, I'm not even pushing anything. But when I change into... Oof, I think you gotta push buttons. Yeah. You, there's, like, switches there. So, like, when you're through here, just mash. And then right here, you just keep on mashing. And then eventually, you just jump through, like, that... Uh, the gap, right? So I just mash. Mash. And then go up through there. And then jump. Don't press anything there. Jump, jump. As soon as you hit that, get ready for the button and hit that button, that switch. You can see the diamond. Hit that as soon as you're in the middle there. Boom, you've completed in silico. So yeah, this is a really fun, easy demon. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do so. It's it's just too awesome to pass up. You know, it's, it's super, super fun. It looks beautiful. Makes you feel so cool because it's so fast paced, but accessible. I love it. In Silico by Rafer, fantastic level. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new layout of the videos, like when I do demon videos, if you want to see the practice stuff at the end. If you liked it at the beginning, let me know as well. I think I like this layout a little more because I can talk about the level in practice mode once I've completed it, which means I have a more full understanding of the level. Because after I finish normal mode, I understand the level way more than before I finish normal mode. Sometimes I practice a level, and then some parts I thought were hard in practice are kind of easy, and some parts I thought were easy kind of catch me off guard in normal mode, and they kill me a lot. And so I think doing this actually works out for the better, and I can give you guys better advice, right? Thought it worked out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to leave a like, helps me out immensely, and as always... Peace.